Hi guys, it's Shane with Cascade Refining for another one of our educational video series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some of the things that you folks at home can do to test if your material is in fact made of gold or if it's maybe just gold plated. Um, one of the primary methods that we use is to just do a good magnet test. Here I've got a really strong magnet that's come out of an old hard drive. Um, you could use any magnet you have at home. The stronger the better. A lighter magnet probably may, may or may not pick up on some of the things I'm going to show you here in a second. But the stronger your magnet, the more, more better it's going to serve you. Um, I've got a smattering of stuff here in front of me. Uh, this section here, as you can probably see, um, most people, uh, even ourselves included sometimes, can't even determine what, which of these items would be worth care grade type, type of uh, pricing and which would be more of a costume type pricing. Uh, one quick and easy way to determine is to get your magnet, as we already mentioned, and just go through kind of like this. As you can see, a lot of these items are going to pick up directly. Now, something the, the reason why we do this is that gold and silver themselves are not magnetic. Any material that you can pick up with a magnet like this, you know immediately is just made of costume. Um, however, there's something else to bear in mind. Uh, this is what's called a negative test. What that means is that if it picks up with the magnet, it most definitely is made of costume material. It's not going to be carrot grade material or anything like that. However, I've got a couple other items in here that are not magnetic. This chain right here, as you can kind of see, as so I run my magnet over it, it doesn't really pick up. However, that doesn't automatically mean that this material is made of carrot grade material. There are also other base metals out there, such as copper, aluminum, magnesium, several others, that are also not magnetic. So one thing that you need to do after you've already separated those pieces out, for example, in our big pile here, I've determined this one's not magnetic, so I could set that aside, bring that on down to Cascade Refining, and have them have a closer look at it. The other material, such as that guy, and the bulk of the rest of this stuff, as you can kind of see, we'll be happy to take for you as well. Just bear in mind that the costume jewelry prices are significantly less than something that's actual good care grade material. Um, as you can see, this piece here, we've actually pulled this one aside specifically for this video. This is a real carat grade piece. This is a 14 carat chain. If I were to just throw this in with the mix, it'd be pretty hard to determine if this was actually carat grade material or not. Um, as you can see, it's also not magnetic like that other chain. However, we've already done a chemical test. We've looked for the proper markings, and our buyers have determined this is indeed 14 carat material. If you have any questions or concerns about stuff like, like that or things that you have at home, come on by and we'll be happy to get you all sorted out and determine for you between the magnet test and our three or four other methodologies that we have available to us, we can determine what your stuff's really worth. So come on by and we'll be happy to get you all taken care of.